Today's K movie is Jibro. Jibro, The Way Home. First time I watched this film, I couldn't stop crying. Uh, the Way Home is a 2002 film directed by Lee Jong Hyang. I think it's her second feature film. The film tells the heartwarming story about uh, about a grandmother and her city-born grandson who comes to live with her in a rural village. This film won the awards for Best Picture and Best Screenplay at Golden Bear Awards, which is one of the most leading film awards of Korea. It was the second highest grossing home uh, domestic film in Korea in 2002. The film was released on DVD with English subtitles in 2003 by Paramount Classics, if you want to check it out. The film is uh, certainly in the list of highest grossing films entirely, with over 4 million audiences nationwide. The film begins with sang played by Yu Seung-ho, being dropped off at the rural home of his deaf and mute grandmother so that his mother can go job hunting in Seoul. Unfortunately, Sang-ho doesn't adapt well to his new surroundings. His grandmother is unable to speak and has dementia, making communication difficult. Furthermore, the country lifestyle without the modern conveniences of television or running water comes as a bit of a shock to the video, play, uh, video game playing sang Frustrated by his new home, he begins to lash out, which includes calling his grandmother a retard. But despite her grandson's disrespectful behavior, the grandmother displays saint-level patience as she quietly goes about her business of cooking his meals, washing his clothes, and gathering his drinking water from the local well. Over time, her persistence eventually pays off as a maturing sang slowly comes to appreciate the sacrifices that have been made to give him a home. With this movie, The Way Home, uh, director Lee jong Hyang skillfully mines the dramatic potential between her two main characters. Most of the film's emotional pull comes from sang being completely oblivious to the consequences of his selfish actions, as well as from his grandmother's tireless efforts to care for him. This dichotomy is most apparent in two of the film's most moving scenes, let me tell you. In the first, sang freaks out after his grandmother boils him chicken after having shown her a picture of KFC. Unfortunately, the effort with that uh, went into such an act of maternal love, which includes a trek into town through pouring rain, is completely lost on sang the second is a bus trip into town where the grandmother sells her vegetables on the street in order to buy sang brand new shoes. But as usual, sang ends up snubbing his grandmother on the bus ride home to hang out with a girl he likes. The leading actor Yu Sung ho is an actor who obviously rose to fame as a child actor in this film, The Way Home. Since then, he has starred in many television series and movies as a child and teenager. After his two military service, he starred in the legal drama Remember, historical films Joseon Magician, Joseon Masursa, and Sondal, The Man Who Sells the River, as well as historical drama The Emperor, Owner of the Mask. He actually made his debut in a cell phone commercial in 1999 after his mother sent in a photo of her son to an ad agency. In 2000, he began his career as a child actor, first appearing in the television drama Daddy Fish. He rose to stardom in his first film, this film, The Way Home. He was then labeled as Nation's Little Brother, Kung Min Nam Dong Seng. Thereafter, you also starred in animal movie, Hurry Pause, uh, I think it's, uh, it's, it's Korean title was Maumi, about a boy he's be- and his beloved dog, and Unforgettable, which is about school children from a remote island who go on a field trip to a candy factory in Seoul during the 1970s. He did some music videos as well. He appeared in the music video for Nowers, You From the Same Time in 2015. And he was next cast as a stubborn webcomic writer 
Raising a Cat in the Television Adaptation of Webtoon, Imaginary Cat. He followed this by starring in the Joseon era romance film The Magician, directed by Kim Dae-sung. Uh, where he plays a circus magician who falls in love with a princess. He then, uh, after, in, uh, was cast in SBS legal thriller series Remember as a lawyer who defends his father on death row. He, one, of his, uh, one of the most successful films was this film, Sondal, the man who sells the river, Bongi Kim Sondal, starred by you, he took this role, the main character, Kim Sundar. In 2017, he starred in historical melodrama, The Emperor, Owner of the Mask, and romantic comedy, I'm Not a Robot. In 2018, he showed in high school drama, My Strange Hero. And last year, he starred in the mystery thriller, Memorist, as a detective in the police force with the power to read people's memories. He was supposed to appear in film Sobangwan, Firefighter, but when uh, the filming was postponed in the aftermath of COVID. And then he got, off, uh, he got off the film project due to schedule problems. But still, I'm excited about his future projects. I liked his Bongi Kim Sondal. He's, uh, he's actually pretty good at comedy films. And I think he could handle more hardcore comedy films like, you know, Kukanjigo, Extreme Job. Arirang. 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 Arirang Radio. Lee Jong Hyang's film debut was a film called Art Museum by the Zoo, Bisul Gamnyok Dongmuran, which came out in 2098. This film actually is the highest grossing film made by a woman filmmaker um, from that time. The film is a semi-autobiographical romantic comedy about two strangers who end up living together and co-writing a screenplay about their relationship. Lee Jong Hyang's second feature film as a writer-director this film, The Way Home, is undoubtedly her most successful and critically acclaimed to date. She took some time off after the enormous success of The Way Home. Uh, I think it took about 10 years. And in 2011, she made a movie called A Reason to Live, Haru. The film stars Song Hye-kyo, and the film centers around the idea of forgiveness, especially concerning the victims of fatal accidents and their families. Having originally written the synopsis years ago, many changes had to be made to adjust to her different outlooks and opinion on life. This film, Haru, shows complete transformation of Song Hye-kyo here appearing as a filmmaker in the film. This is worth watching to check out Song Hye-kyo's heavy role as opposed to her typical romantic heroine in other movies. <laughs> 